Hey there, warriors. Welcome back to another episode of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. We are still in the Sabat warehouse trying to plant a bomb somewhere to blow this place up. Still trying to figure out where to plant the bomb. Now these Sabats are like the mindless, brutish thugs of the game. And uh, the different factions of vampire vampires, I think they're called clans, are uh, constantly at war. Arming... Okay, this is the room I need to plant the bomb then. Okay. Now I've got three minutes to get out of here. I'm not sure what the best route is. Oh god. <laughs> Maybe I should have uh, gone out the way I came. I don't know. Let's kill these guys though. I think I've got plenty of time to escape. Should have anyway. Well. Still, I think uh, not having a lock on is hurting me here. There we go. Need a feed on this guy. Probably the best way to take him out. Two minutes and 20 seconds left. Apparently there's somebody else. Yep. Alright. Hmm. Is this where I came from? Yep. Alright, let's see here. So I guess I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. There's a door right there. I wonder if I can just run out of it. Nope! Okay. At least we're out of the building now. That's good. Hopefully I'm not trapped in this gated area, though. Okay, looks like there's a path out of here. Is this a dead end? Okay. Whoa. Good, I thought it was a dead end there for a second. That would suck. Come on, open the door. There we go. Alright. Huh, I hope I'm going the right way and not in circles. Uh-oh. Whoa. He looks like he's using the uh, Protean skill. Kind of uh, transfigures his hands into claws. Where do I need to go? Can I pick this? Oh, okay. Well, it's open now. Oh, shit. I'll just avoid those guys if I can and get the heck out of here. I need to start running. I've only got 30 seconds before this whole place goes up. I don't know how big the explosion's gonna be. where I came from. Ah, can't get through there, looks like. Yeah, this is where I came from. Okay, good. Whoa. What's going on here with the wolf? The warehouse. Your handiwork, I presume? Yep, sure is. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, he's a uh, protean, or gangrel as well. Huh. I'm not really interested in shape-shifting, though. Well, maybe this is a free skill increase. Let me ask that. You are of my blood. Teach me your form. It will come with experience. Yeah. Mastery of the Protean Discipline does not, as your generation might say, come in pill form. Yeah, who are you? And why have you been following me? I see my reputation for once does not precede me. My name is Beckett. I haven't been following you per se. We've just coincidentally been at the same places at the same time, for different reasons. So sorry if I unnerved you. 
Tell me, have you by chance seen or felt anything strange since your embrace? Hmm. Well, yeah, I guess I could say any of these. Yeah, I could... I'm gonna go with number one. Any of those are true. A ghost? Hmm. Quite ordinary. I generally pay wraiths no mind. All but a few are willing to give up their secrets. Hmm. Okay, I met some kindred on the beach that didn't seem like kindred. Thin bloods. They're a fascination of mine. They are considered a weaker, more human like kindred. Hence the name, Thin Blood. But they are sired, same as any of us. I've heard a large concentration of them live in this city. They're one of the reasons I'm in Los Angeles. Hmm. What's his interest in Thin Bloods? Huh. Okay, let's tell him about the split personality. She's undoubtedly Malkavian. Or should I say, they are undoubtedly Malkavian. Yeah, other than that, nothing much out of the ordinary. Most of my contacts here report sensing something unusual in the night air. Like a sense of dread or pressure. But I'm not a native to these parts. So I can't tell if it's irregular. And since you're still fresh, perhaps you're not attuned to it. Pleasure meeting your acquaintance, but there are rumblings for me to discredit. We shall, I'm certain, meet again. Or never again. Good night, young one. And be careful. You're very likely being hunted by the Sabbat. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Good night, Beckett. Hmm. So there's something unusual going down in Santa Monica. Wonder what that could be. It's all a mystery. It's all a mystery. Okay, it took us back to, uh, Tung here. Nice work, fledgling. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news, too. Man, there's gonna be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> yeah, do you know somebody named Beckett? Beckett? Why know of him? Why? Yeah, I spoke with him. No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our... condition. Yeah, let's ask Bertram some questions. What do you need? Yeah, yeah. Well, I know him and, well, Therese don't get along because he's uh, fooling around with her other personality. But Therese should be gone now. Let's ask him about it anyway. That was just silly vampire politicking, fledgling. No more. You get used to that kind of thing. Yeah, she really wanted you dead, I believe. Yeah, no kidding. Now that the Camarilla's moved into L.A., Therese wants the title of Prince of Santa Monica. I guess she saw me as a threat. Funny thing is, I could care less. I'm sure he knows they're the same person. Well, let's ask him anyway. Suspicions. What oh, an interesting okay. specimen. But a pain in my dead ass for sure. So he had no idea. Well, he had sneaking suspicion about it, but he wasn't sure. Yeah, I've got some more questions. Like what? Hmm. 
Well, now the, uh, the question about the serial killer is gone. That's really what I wanted to ask him about. I don't really care about the clans or sex. Sure. Uh, let's ask him about LaCroix or LaCroix. What am I going to say? He's the boss now. Yeah, I want to ask you something else. Sure. Ah. You better get back downtown. Prince LaCroix is going to want to hear all about this victory. What do you need? Okay, I can ask him about the serial killer. Good. Those murders are definitely the work of Kindred. Probably some kid of getting revenge on everyone who made fun of him in high school. Once the sheriff tracks this guy down, they're going to make one hell of an example of him. What's a caitiff? Caitiff are just riffraff vampires who don't know anything about vampire society. Don't know their clan. Mutt vampires. What I suspect you were perilously close to becoming if LaCroix hadn't intervened. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he really doesn't uh, have any clues about the serial killer. Other than it being a mutt without a sire. Alright, let's see here. What else can we do? Uh, warehouse mostly lies at the bottom of the Pacific. Huh. Report to Prince LaCroix at the Venture Tower downtown. We still haven't made it to downtown. Downtown. Yeah, everything else is downtown, it looks like, and I can't do the trick-or-treatment quest, like I said before, because of a bug in the game. Uh, hmm. Not sure how to get downtown. Let's wander around. Okay, there's a taxi here now. I imagine this is how we get downtown. Hello? Can I talk to you? Where to? Yeah, I can't tell him where to go. Yeah. Drive. I'll tell you when the mood hits me. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, let's go downtown. Oh, what? Ah, shoot. <laughs> it's a warm welcome to downtown. Let's drain it. Let's take it and leave it out for the sunrise. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Think you could blow up our warehouse and get away with it? Ah, Nick. <laughs> Let's blast its eyes and its tongue and its teeth. I want its teeth. Come around the fuck. Okay, who's going to save me here? I think we could all use a little entertainment. Those of you sitting in the first few rooms will get wet. Okay. Son of a bitch! Leave. There's three of us, Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> Three of us. What are you going to do? Shoot us? Huh. This ain't over. We'll find you. You too, Rodriguez. You're both dead. Nobody messes with a sabbat and lives. Keep moving. Trouble sure seems to like you. Good effort. Oof. 
Execution needs a little work. You look like shit. Okay. Name's Nines. That was weird. Okay. Well, yeah, this is a guy from the intro cinematic that spoke up at my sire's trial. So he's at odds with LaCroix. Hmm, I wonder what his story is. But, uh... Well, I guess I could go ahead and finish up this conversation. But, uh, I'll have to stop after this. The timer just went off. Huh, I didn't need your help. No, I think I did, definitely. Let's just thank him. Should have been more careful, Newby. Bunch of shovel heads like that. They walk tough, but they scare easy. Just tear an ear off or something. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I remember you from the court. Kid, I got things to deal with. Why don't you pay me a visit at the last round tonight? I don't know what you've heard so far, but it's time you heard the real story. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. This is a mean existence. Stay out of trouble, kid. Yeah, we're going to finally get the inside story on the vampire politics here. Maybe, uh, be a part of some kind of upheaval. That'll be cool. All right. Here we are in downtown. Very impressive buildings. But, uh, this area will have to wait until next time. As always, thanks for watching, Warriors. And I'll see you later when we're going to start a revolution. <laughs> All right, later.